I guess all woodworking makes Jack a dull boy. And I have to say that having spent several decades working in somewhat solitude in my little furniture workshop, I've been able to come up for air in recent years and express my other passion, which is for playing guitar. Now, I guess a music gig that includes several different genres, such as rock and roll, gypsy jazz, folk and blues, all in one evening, is quite unusual. Well, Jazz Fusion is, how can I put it, an organic collaboration of local musicians at a central and quite busy wine bar in Bath. And it all started uh, back in May 2018 on the opening night of the Bath Music Festival. Although I had a short gig with uh, Jim Cook as part of the official program, as the host of Vino Vino, asked me if I'd organize music for the entire evening. And right at the end of the evening, we had a, a very informal, impromptu jam. And from that jam has evolved a regular slot throughout the summer. So this video is a taster of some of the diverse numbers we played at our last gig at the end of August. And of course, I got to play my new electro-acoustic guitar, which I call the Jez Brune acoustic guitar because it runs through a Roland guitar synthesizer so I can create sounds such as grand piano or flute or saxophone. So let's give our keyboards player Rich a little competition uh, and open up my guitar uh, with a bit of electric piano. <laughs> Uh, 
I suppose jazz fusion is a little like my furniture making. It doesn't focus on one genre or discipline, such as strictly cabinet making, but draws from different inspirations, such as the carpentry joints I use in my high back rocking chair, or aircraft design in my Star Wars computer desk. Mixing the bag with these music sessions also caters for young and older audiences and the collaboration of our different styles is really what Jazz Fusion is about.
Well, I made my first guitar at the age of 17, and I guess this fired my passion for taking up a career in woodworking. I was lucky I had a brilliant woodwork teacher and followed in his steps as um, a handicrafts teacher. But I didn't choose a career as a guitar maker because it was like furniture design at the time. A hidebound craft steeped in rigid tradition with no room for innovation. And I am an innovator. To me, there is no point in just copying the past, but saying something new and moving tradition on. But interestingly, many of these classic pop songs um, I have difficulty in replicating precisely. And I tend to add my own quirky interpretation. Now this tune in particular is an example. Uh, it's essentially a blues song and I somehow started it off in my style. And then David and Rich eased it back into the proper song. I think it's called Sweet Home Chicago. The energy and essence of live music is full of mistakes and readjustments, many of which the audience won't notice. Whereas with contemporary furniture making, uh, the slightest error will show. In fact, it has become obsessively immaculate today. Guitar playing is a kind of freeing up and uh, performing is almost a privilege uh, that I think some musicians assume as a right. But I think my late arrival at music is giving me a refreshed energy to create more furniture. Uh, the problem is selling it. Thank you. 
guitar and general organisation of the, the Red Ice Mountain.